Welcome to my studio. Today I am starting a new commission. I showed you the composition sketched up on the canvas in a mixture of mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And I add liquid to that to make a nice thin oil wash. And so I've sketched up my entire drawing on the canvas with that. Now I'm painting the sky. It's a sunset sky. You can see this is a gallery wrap canvas. The image is going all the way around the side of the canvas. So I've gone ahead and stood on a little step stool and painted the top edge of the canvas and before I knew it I was starting to paint down on the sky. So you'll just have to forgive me on that. I showed my color mixtures. This is a mixture of my mud plus white. And then I start, the sky is going to be very dark at the top because I just want that glow of the sun here that's all going to reflect down into the water. Then I come back in, I start bringing some pinks into that. This is my mud mixture plus a little alizarin crimson plus a little bit more white. And I just start bringing that, getting the feel of the clouds coming in. And I go, I work around the edge of the canvas. The canvas I have mounted on a piece of double ply cardboard. It's about two inches larger than the painting all the way around. This painting is a 14 by 14 inch. The cardboard is 18 inches by 18 inches. I've put screw eyes into the stretcher bars on the back of the painting poked those through the cardboard and put a nail in it. So that holds the canvas to the, the cardboard and then I can use that cardboard, I can handle the wet painting and I don't have to worry about touching the painting. Makes it very easy to handle it as it's wet since it's painted all the way around the edge. And I bring some of that pink color onto the top edge of the canvas. Look at my reference material here. The, um, this painting is one that I, Gina is one of my longtime collectors. She has a bunch of my paintings and I've done several commissions for her. We always add fun things into the, the painting. And this is one that's based on a commission that I did for her sister as a Christmas present. And she wanted me to do a similar painting, but with different elements in it. So we've got, this is just like her sister's painting. This has the sunset sky, but we're adding different flowers and different, the deer are going to be different. And the, uh, in fact, I'll show you a picture of her sister's painting. Well, the best laid plans of mice and men. <laughs> After I showed you the picture of Belinda's painting, I, apparent, I thought I pressed the button to record and apparently I didn't press it hard enough. So, I will tell you how I painted the sky. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a painter, I'm not a videographer. So. The upper part of the sky, the darker purples, are my mud plus white. And then the as I come in here, there's pink with my that mixture plus a little alizarin crimson plus white. Near the sun, we get warmer, which I took my pink mixture and added a little cadmium red light and white. So that makes it a little bit warmer. And around the sun, we get cadmium yellow medium plus that cadmium orange and that warms up. The sky really warms up around the sun. The sun itself is just peeking up over this mountain and it's white plus cadmium yellow medium. Just a little bit. Now the mountains are snow capped. It's springtime but there's still snow on the mountains. And I don't want these, I don't want these to be bright white 
because then it, the sun would not be very bright. So this one back here is, uh, the snow is a mixture of my mud plus ultramarine blue plus a little bit of white plus a lot of white, excuse me. But I don't want it real white so that the sun shows. There will be a little bit of a highlight right here. Where the sun catches that top of that peak. Then this closer mountain is going to be a little bit lighter and the sun hits right in here. And this mountain, the dark portion, is my mud plus ultramarine blue plus white. The snow line is horizontal. There's Once you get to a certain point up in the mountains in the springtime, the snow hasn't melted yet. So that's, we just go ahead and, so that snow line is going to be, didn't mean to make a line in the painting. And then there's crevices in the rock, so that snow line does change here and there. But it's it's all comes down to a certain point and then that's no more snow. Like I'm really an expert. Jack and I made a point to live in warm areas of no snow and I grew up in Florida so I'm, I'm no expert on snow but just from what we've observed people that have lived in it told us and So there's our snow-capped mountain, and I'm going to let it get darker as we move further away from the sun. Now there's going to be a pine tree popping up right there. And I come around the, the edge of the canvas. I feel so silly. I was just talking away and painting, and the camera wasn't even recorded. But we'll just get to see some of this. And I bring some of my lighter color along the top here. So that this tree is going to pop up in front of there. It's not going to be real bright, but just get that enough light there then to make that tree let it show. Put a little more light here. And then we'll have some darks in the mountains where these come down. Say the, those canyons and these aren't smooth mountains. This is upstate New York. These are the finger, one of the finger lakes. This is where Gina and Belinda been a lot of their time as kids and that's a very special place to them. So we've got that here along here. Gives a nice the setting sun just gives a nice glow on these mountains. We'll put a little more light right there. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos please subscribe to my channel and visit my blog where I'll show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting as well as others I do. The link is in the description below. I also have the address on the final frame of the video. So I just want to soften this edge of the snow. I want that to go back so I don't want any hard edges. And these two mountains can kind of must fade into each other. So thank you very, very much. Have a wonderful day. And just take a minute today to just stop and smell the roses. Enjoy this beautiful world we've been blessed with. So thank you again.